Business Education The extract of a lecture belonging to the Doctor of Slavic Applied Sciences, Oleg Maltsev. Business Education So, we speak about the business education. I believe it is a certain thing which just allows us to achieve those results for which money are paid. I mean the results for which the market goes with money. Therefore, everything that you learn at university or at business schools, actually, that doesn't cost a thing at all. Such education is valuable only for you. Because the fact you have paid someone for this education or training or someone else. So please pay attention to a very interesting thing. I will be short and soon everything becomes clear. How does the business range itself look like? Let's have a look. So I'm going to draw a ruler. On the blackboard, a ruler consists of eight steps, from one to eight, beginning from the top, and this ruler represents the business range. Okay, let's start. The first step, technologies. Second step, here we have strategic decisions. And the third step, let's write HR management. As the fourth step comes, we are having a stream of clients management. The fifth step stands for finance, in the universal understanding of the word. The sixth step comes with complex safety. The seventh step represents advocacy. And finally, the eighth step stands for personal security. So, just pay attention for the fact, it goes without standing, that nobody argues that we don't use something fundamental, scientific in our activity. It doesn't give any guarantees to us that we will receive any results. Does anybody want to dispute? No? Okay. That means, if we don't use a true state of affairs, i.e. any true positions that work inherently, that could be applied in many different ways, are demonstrable, bear something good, but these things won't work. Let's begin with a range business talk, I mean business technologies. Please, name me any science in the world which allows a person to construct technologies. And I'll write this question on the board. So, how the science which can construct technologies is called? What is it? No answer, just silence. Okay, let's check it in the internet. It is a very interesting experiment, right? Whether there is such science in the world or not. I'm going to check that in the trivial way. I write in Google search a science constructing technologies. Such science isn't present. So we check, come here, Olga, and Olga says, well, here we have just engineering, no science. But we face lots of attacks, like high technologies, sciences, to design, all randomly. But the required science doesn't exist at all. Let's move further. What is the name of the science allowing to make strategic decisions, unmistakable decisions, with a big result ahead? So we write on a board a science allowing to find strategic decisions. Let's search for it in Google. Such science doesn't exist as well. Alexander, please come to me. Check out the search results, please, so that people do not have an impression that I have invented it all. Well, such science isn't present as you see. We just see tags like course, management, decision making, the theory of games found in Wikipedia, historical preconditions of occurrence, the perspective analysis of strategic decisions, introduction into strategy principles. What is a strategy? Hmm, but anything necessary isn't present. Probably this science is called a strategy. That will write in a comment that strategy. Well, Google knows everything. 
So, to search results, we see strategy is a general, non-detailed plan of any activity. I will not read further. Is everything clear? Okay. Let's switch to the problem of personnel, I mean HR management. It's getting more and more difficult. There is no science here, that's for sure, but some requirements for business with according to staff still are present, and the question are as follows. What is staff? Where is one to get the person? How could we prepare our staff? How should we force them to work? Etc. Etc. Et As for the question of staff, there should exist the whole group of sciences because the requirements come from different areas. HR management isn't a science by itself, but the collection of experience of the other people. It represents what they do with the previous time. Once again, we turn back to the previous case. You don't have these basic incidents to be capable of using these dynamic linguistic chains. Therefore, it is useless to read books about HR experience. It will bring you to nothing. The following moment is a stream of clients management. How to sell, as a matter of fact, how to get loans and to receive more money, how to gain trust, how to sell, and science about it in the world side doesn't exist. There are just pieces of experience of other people, how they solve that problem. You may ask about 90% of work competitors, and they all will tell you just the same. It is necessary to develop advertising. They demonstrate no understanding at all, as advertising gains trust, but it doesn't sell. The final moment to examine in the finance, in understanding of many people, the finance is the management of money. What can we find here? There are certain principles of management of money. Money submit to electricity laws, so you should study physics, the electricity theory, etc. The following moment, business safety. Call me the name of science which provides safety. Let's write in the common line, a science which provides safety of a business. We read, such science isn't present in nature. Quite clear, right? Perhaps I'm too strict and particular. Perhaps there is a technology which provides safety. <coughs> Science, well, it is too much, you know. Okay, let's find technology in Google. Technology which provides safety. So here are the results. Economic safety, economic safety of business, just services. Well, nothing about technology which provides safety. No technology of safety exists in this world, just like madness, isn't it? The following aspect to discuss is legal aspect, I mean advocacy. The technology of dispute resolution, of negotiations, of mediation, the permission of judicial disputes, etc., etc. Such science doesn't exist either. One can easily check up for it. Also, there is no science which provides a personal security, and it doesn't matter if you want it or not. There is just the experience collection defined. So, in order, any technology appear, for example, the technology of maintenance of a personal security, permissions of questions in legal profession, technology providing safety of business, management of the finance, Management of a stream of clients, HR management, strategic decisions, and for technology constructing, fundamental science should appear firstly. This science is to solve these problems, and on the basis of this science, the technologies may be constructed. That is, at first, we have fundamental science, and on its base, goes a technology. But today, there isn't any science about all that stuff, which means there is no technology solving these problems. Do you understand? So, where should one take all these technologies and science? An excellent question. Here, if you would ask me, Oleg Viktorovich, whether there is some science about this all. I would tell you there are both sciences and technologies. I have the answer to this question.
And the answer is the downfall of Slavic sciences. These sciences completely answer all que questions on these eight aspects. Let's list the branches of Slavic applied sciences. First, the abbreviation comes with S N E M D M. System of new external motional dynamic management. Second science, E M D M. The abbreviation goes with external motional dynamic management. Number three, NOMA, a science about role modeling. Number four, a science called SPS. The abbreviation comes with the science of performance of problem solutions. Number five, HEA, a science about the way everything is arranged. Just look, how everything's arranged. The abbreviation comes from that phrase. Science number six, the brain angle mechanics. Science number seven, psychosomology. Some people also call it the Harian medicine. And science number eight, military art, or the art of war. So, up to now, we have listed the pantheon of Slavic sciences. So we also have some material for creation and constructing of new technologies on the basis of these sciences. So, this is a source from which the technology comes. Accordingly, if there are technologies, they have to include certain toolkit, allowing to solve the problems in business areas. We write tools for solving business problems. Right now we can speak about business education. Summing up, it could be said that business education lies in first in reception of exhaustive quantity of technologies built on the basis of the Slavic applied science, allowing to work with a full range of business. It is one variant of a business education. Another variant of a business education is research of science each, like H E A, how everything is arranged. And there, search of science SPS. I mean, a science of performance of problem solutions. I e. the research of various structures and the list of tools to produce correct decisions as for these or those problems. Such variant is also possible and available. So, furthermore, I do not want to work on the whole range. I want to work just in one sphere. Then I need the technology, allowing to solve a problem in this very sphere. For example, up to date, in business safety, two technologies are used. The technologies we maintain are HDAD. The abbreviation comes with System of the Hidden Active Defense. And another technology is CID. The abbreviation comes with Complex Individual Defense. Apart from these, for military men, there is a special technology called 2SS, Special Self-Organized System. I.e., war problems in 21st century are solved by the technology 2SS that we have constructed a long time ago. We have shown 2SS and the results it produces in the end of 11. Next point. Are there any technologies of strategic decision acceptance? Certainly are. They are called differently, depending on what exactly one wants to receive. There are versatile technologies. There is a training system of strategic consulting on the basis of SPS. 
Another system is built on the basis of a full range of pantheon of Slavic applied sciences, and so on and so forth, i.e. everything exists. But it is vitally necessary to take them all and study. And so, let's turn to the dilemma, five years of university, a heap of money wasted, a heap of money wasted, and no decent result and whole pantheon of eight full range of sciences. Is there any difference between these two things? You may ask, what are the university transfer to you? They may tell you the diploma and no technology which you will maintain in order to reach results you are looking for, because money is paid just for results. So, guys, if you are going to graduate from the university, you have to understand that the piece of paper, the diploma, will be the only thing left by the university and nothing else. No money ahead is present, i.e. money won't appear. If you hope that after graduation you are to receive money, mm -mm, money won't be. The university is intended to accept that money, it doesn't give anybody any money, just promises and nothing else ahead. And do the Slavic Applied Sciences promise anything ahead? It promises nothing. The science claims simply, here is a toolkit. If you want to use it, just do it. If you do not want to use it, put it in a garage. The difference is in the fact the Slavic Applied Science just has this toolkit, whereas the university does not. Why is it so? Due to the reason the university possess no intellectual assets, it possesses nothing. It has a certain experience defined by a government program, which you should know, having studied for five years. This experience either will work or won't work. The university doesn't bear any responsibility at all. Why? Because the stage has already taken responsibility for you, having defined this program. And what will you make to the government or state in case this experience doesn't work? Nothing. To check up the value of this experience and investigate whether it works or not, one should take a job. Only job may show the actual state of things. As soon as you come to work, the first thing you'll be told sounds like forget everything you have learned at your university. So, what is the sense of five years studying and simple lifetime wasting? Besides, we face a question. For what sake should we study at university? If you are a lawyer, certainly it is really necessary to graduate from the legal aid academy. Without studying at the academy, you cannot work as a lawyer. Jurisprudence is a specific branch. But the knowledge of jurisprudence received at university is not enough to work as a lawyer, so the lawyer doesn't add to the knowledge of laws. This is a heap of many other things which are necessary for those students who want to become lawyers. And here it just demands parallel training according to two things, to this pantheon of Slavic applied sciences and to classic science range like of jurisprudence at university. Simultaneously, in five years time, wine receives double formation. The medicine reveals the same thing, as it demands double formation as well, that is, the formation known to the classical science and the formation that isn't known to any university in classical science. Here, when a combination of classical and applied science is used, such combination produces an expert expected to graduate from the walls of university in five year time. Unfortunately, nobody is engaged in such double formation. Why is it so? I.e., we are going to discuss business education at a seminar, and I will tell you about contemporary business technologies. I will show them in work, and each of you may choose such technologies, which are today necessary for the problem solution in this or that sphere of business he works in. And anyone will be able to accept from up these technologies to exploit them till the end of days, figuratively speaking. It goes without standing that these technologies solve problems better than anything else in Ukraine, in Europe, in the world, etc. 